hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Aya and I'm here today to talk to you about the shortage of occupational leaves that's the UK visa that's the UK skilled visa shortage of occupation list and I mean what does shortage of occupation mean what's this list about why have they even created the list who is this list for what does you know what purpose does this list intend to serve okay if you see me look down I'm just I'm trying to peep at the list and all the work I've done for you um okay so in a, in a short form shortage means there is high demand for a particular thing and then there is low supply for that particular thing. So in this context, shortage of occupation list in the UK means there's high demand for some specific profession, but they're not getting people to get the job done. So professions like, you know, healthcare, teaching, and um, artists and the rest of them, don't be too in a rush. I'm going to take you through the list, how to get the list, what's the list about and things like that so what i have written down here is shortage means there is high demand but less manpower to do the job so there's high demand for butchers there's high demand for doctors there's high demand for nurses but there are no nurses to actually do this job so the ons survey in the uk is what has used to compile all this list of occupations whereby there is high demand but there's shortage and the question is the uk government reviewed this list periodically to see has anything changed do we have enough doctors do we have enough nurses so you don't want to sleep on it you need to put in that application you need to check your cv and see that you qualify for this thing and get this application done when you can okay if you're new to this channel please click like share and subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel for more information about how to relocate to the uk and now i'm going to be taking you through how to go on the gov.uk to assess this link the first thing we need to do is to go on google type gov.uk so that will be www gov which is gov dot co dot uk is it go co dot uk no it is gov dot uk so that is www dot gov dot uk and then you type in shortage of occupation list or better still once you go to google just type in shortage of occupation list uk and then the very first thing you see is the list of all these occupation lists. I'm going to take you through now how to assess this page. Watch along. And now that we're on the page, we can see, you know, which job is on the shortage list. You know, you can say things like the job occupation code, that is what code is associated with a um, residential worker or a domiciliary worker or a care manager and things like that. And you can see what areas in the United Kingdom they need these people. As we all know, the United Kingdom is made up of um, England um, Scotland and Wales and then in the Northern Ireland. So these are the areas where you know it will tell you this link will tell you where they need you where they need me where they need everyone that may be watching this video today and the next thing you're going to see on this website is the annual salary that needs to be paid as we all know or if you do not know now you know in the uk there is a minimum income requirement that you would need to earn so you can't be coming in and they say they'll pay you one pound per hour no there's something called minimum wage there's something called going rates, okay? And the going rate, um, just to divert, is for that job you are being employed for, what is the amount of salary the government expects that profession would earn? So that's the going rate. So there's an amount of salary you're expected to earn as um, depending on what skilled visa or what occupation you've been offered employment for. 
if we look at this list, we'll see that there are loads of healthcare. You know, it's mainly in the IT healthcare system, which is doctors, physiotherapists, nurses, um, you know, and the rest of them. Engineering, you know, those that studied any form of engineer and things like that. Artists, musicians, senior workers. And come to think about it, the senior workers has recently been added to the list. One thing I would like us to take note of on this particular page of shortage of occupation list is if you look up, there are two sides to it. There are different lists. So one which is the healthcare visa and one which is, you know, the non-healthcare, which is the general one. So there's like a shortage of lists that has been made specifically for the healthcare. And, you know, this has been ongoing. There was need for it because of the pandemic. There was need to distinguish this because the NHS was really, really in their need for additional hands to help, you know, the country during the pandemic. And other areas are, you know, like business consultants, like engineers, like, um, I'm just trying to take a look. Yeah, like mechanical engineers, civil engineers, electrical engineers, designs and development, um, IT business analysts, architects, um, web designers. I mean, your profession is there. So all you need to do, or all I will encourage you to do is, now that you know that your service is needed, now that you know that your qualification is in high demand, why not put your CV together? Why not go on job boards in the UK like UKHired.com? Um, why not go on um, NHS? That's NHS is the highest employer of labor in the United Kingdom. Why not go there? Why not go on Google and search for, you know, agencies, recruitment agencies that recruit overseas staff and get that job in this 2022. If you're new to this YouTube channel, please click like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend, share a friend, click like, share and subscribe and support your girl. Thank you.